Hi Cancer, this is terribly accurate. Thank you for showing up to watch this video. I hope that you like it. I hope that um, if you find it helpful, you can share it with others that might find it helpful. And um, if you like these kind of readings, please subscribe so that you keep getting them. <laughs> okay, um, this is for couples and singles for November 7th through December 7th. And I think we're going to start with singles today. Now, this could be if Cancer is your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign, or maybe you're interested in a Cancer, okay? It could also be your Venus sign. Some people watch this for their Venus sign. Um, okay, so if you're single right now, you may be a little bit concerned about your long-term future. Like, oh my gosh, how long am I going to be single for? Like, am I ever going to find that person that I grow old with, you know, that I have children with? Like, your time clock might be ticking at this point in time. It may be feeling a little bit hopeless about that, but it's saying keep the faith because if you do, that you could find something or like a partner or relationship that is even better than you imagine. So keep putting affirmations out there. Um, for those of you who follow me on Snapchat, I'm going to just tell you um, today what the snap was about. Let me see if I can find the card quick. I did mix it back in the deck. I didn't expect to be talking about it. Oh goodness. Sorry. Oh, here it is. Um, so abundance. It says, I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality, right? So that's all about the law of attraction. And it was combined with a quote from Muhammad Ali that says, it's the repetition of affirmations that lead to belief. And then once that deep, once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. So double message on law of attraction and and that's what this is talking about as far as um if you're single and you don't want to be you want to find your long-term partner you're like oh my gosh the more you think about and worry oh my gosh i might not ever meet this person in time to have children and grow old together and retire and that sort of a thing um the more likely that is to be the case so this is asking you to make your little wishes about what it is that you see for your future, the kind of person you see in it, the kind of things you want to do together. Write them all down, okay? And then they can you could have all of your wishes come true and manifest into something even bigger and better than you could have ever imagined. That's what your angels want to tell you right now. Um, it's just saying like you don't have the confidence, like the pure faith that it's going that you're going to get there. And so that's why this quote from Muhammad Ali is so important because it's like the more that you repeat these things to yourself the more that you believe that they're going to come into your reality and then the more that you start to feel the feelings associated with having um, what you believe is coming, you know, the easier it manifests, the sooner it becomes true. Um, and that's been the theme for a lot of readings lately and I, I feel like it's getting a little bit redundant and... Um, and so I'm sorry if my readings feel a little bit boring or same old, same old lately, but you know, the way that I read, everybody reads different, but the way that I read is um, I channel messages from angels, from your spirit guides. And it's like, that's just really what's needed right now in the world. And I think it's because right now there is so much negativity, especially with the election coming up, all of that. So, so I apologize if that's a little redundant. <laughs> um, some of you are not as connected to spirit right now as you ought to be. You've got to turn back towards your faith or your spiritual practices. Meditation is a good way. Um, because they're saying, you know, a negative belief system or pattern or feeling of lack is kind of why right now. But it's saying when you're writing down your affirmations about what it is that you wish for, you don't have to be super specific. Because that also makes it diff difficult too. Like... I want somebody who is six foot two, um, 220 pounds, has brown eyes, um, they work for the government, so they have awesome government health insurance for all of us when we eventually get married. Um, they're smart, they're funny, they're a Capricorn, <laughs> you know, we don't have to be that specific, just in general terms so that the right person can show up. Um, Okay, so going with your gut instincts. Oh, did you guys see that? That's kind of neat. I don't know if that was an angel or not, but <laughs> um, sometimes they do show up in the video, little angel orbs and things. So um, watch for those. And if you see one, then that would be especially where you should pay attention. Oh, there it was. That is um, just light passing by. But just before that, there was a little one here in the video. Okay, so, so this is important an important message for somebody. Um, 
the moon card. Now I read this one a little bit different every time, but this one's about needing to follow your gut instincts in order to achieve your own happiness, um, in order to get to a place where you're feeling really great about where you are. Um, it's kind of like happiness is a choice, right? But it's not entirely that message. It's that by choosing to follow your gut instincts, your intuition, to listen to the messages from spirit is how you're going to end up to be happy, okay? Now, this is difficult to do, is what this card is indicating, because you have people on each side kind of yapping at you like these dogs here, saying, well, I don't know that that's right. That doesn't seem logical. Why are you doing it this way? Well, because if it feels right in your heart and your gut, that's what's right for you at this time. Um, coming from an emotional place. This is so much a Cancer card to me, um, because Cancer is like so associated with the moon and the water and, and all of that stuff. So going with your gut instincts, feeling your feelings, and really trusting those is going to give you, um, lead you to a place of happiness. You see how the sun is like raining little, little sun rays and things like that? That's like pure joy. Okay. What else for single cancers this month? Oh boy. Um, slightly challenging to move forward in relationships um, or just to move forward towards ever, whatever it is that you wish for, whatever it is that you desire. And I think that's why the affirmation piece is so important this month, um, getting clear on what it is. It's saying though, as far as your dating techniques go, Keep on doing what you're doing because that is working for you um, or it shall start working for you. So if you've been dating online, keep doing it that way. If you have been um, joining clubs, things like that, keep doing it that way. If you've been having friends set you up, keep doing it that way. Um, this could also be uh, meeting people at church or mosque or wherever you go. But um, whatever you're doing isn't the wrong way to do it. If you've been like attending a lot of happy hours, meeting new people, that's, that's another way. Um, let's find out why the King of Swords is showing up here in reverse. With the oh. Hmm. We're going to get a few. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. A card just left right out of the deck and I can't quite find it. Oh, there is so much to say about this one. I don't even know what it is yet, but it came up in a very challenging position. <laughs> okay. Now, here's the deal. Um, some of you feel like, maybe some of you have this kind of King of Swords energy around you. This could be a person near you. I, was, I wanted to get clarity to find out if this is you or it's someone else. Now, um, there's someone near you that isn't quite... Um, communicating effectively, like they might have defense mechanisms, their own thoughts are cloudy, um, they're not speaking from like an emotional place, it's more like logic based, um, like as far as their thoughts about you go and a potential relationship, stuff like that, they're not talking to you right now, so this could very much be an ex, it's like they're thinking about you, but um, they're quite stubborn and so they're not really reaching out. Um, we've got the devil card here. So it's like a person from your past that, you know, like your relationship didn't go maybe the best. There were things within it that were toxic, but somehow you're still tied. So um, if you don't want to keep feeling like these kind of negative feelings towards them or like sadness, things like that, you might want to look in the helpful tools playlist on my channel or um, you could Google it for other readers to, to try a Chords of Attachment type of deal. Um, the thing is with Chords of Attachment and exes, things like that, is oftentimes it doesn't work when we release them because we don't actually want to because we have this fear that if we cut those cords, that, you know, what if they were our soulmate? What if we just needed this time apart? It was a lesson. We're supposed to come back together. If they're supposed to be in your life, if they're meant to be there eternally, um, you can't cut those, okay? So don't let that be the reason why you wouldn't do it. But you can um, release all of the negative emotions and um, negative patterns within the relationship if you choose to. So... Um, you know, there's someone out there that has a cord attached to you. And how cords work, this will, I feel bad, like, taking time up from your love reading to explain this. It, maybe it's better just to go watch the video, but I'll try to be quick. 
um, emotional connections that we have to other people have cords, right? And everything that we feel can go back and forth through these cords. So when you feel love, um, maybe the other person feels really positive, even though they're away from you and they're not, um, you know, they're just having a great day, even though you're not communicating as your days go on, you know, you're both working. But then every time that somebody is um, feeling sad or heartbroken or has like a negative thought or some resentment, that shoots through the cord too. So sometimes when you're going through the, your day, nothing bad happens and all of a sudden you just feel like shit. It's that cord of attachment, somebody else, right? Sending you that. So it's... A good idea to regularly kind of cut those when you can think about it. Um, okay, so anyway, what, the whole point of all of this is saying that whatever this cord of attachment is to this person, you might not even know who they are right now. Um, it could be anybody. It could be like a friend, you know, that had a crush on you and they're not telling you. Whatever this cord is, though, that they have to you, it's kind of inhibiting you from being able to welcome in new love opportunities, okay? It's like creating a blockage in your life. So I would encourage you maybe to watch that video or watch a different video. If I can remember, I will put a link in the description box, but um, otherwise it's just in the playlist there. Under helpful tools, what else? What else for single cancers? Okay, <laughs> so they just, the, your angels just wanna say, Keep doing what you're doing because it is going to work, um, like your method of trying to find a new partner. And if your method is only like living your day-to-day -day life, you know, hoping, I think Virgos last night had something about like, it could be anywhere. It could be the laundromat. It could be the coffee shop. If, if that's what you're doing, like you're just making sure that you brush your hair and brush your teeth before you leave in case you run into Mr. or Mrs. Wonderful. Um, then keep doing that. If you've been, you know, on dating sites, keep doing that. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it's not the wrong method. Um, this is saying you don't need new ideas. Um, you don't need a new method at all. Like, that's the right way. And then is there anything else for cancers in regards to love this month, November 7th through December 7th? Um, just make sure that you actually do keep doing it. <laughs> So if you've taken a little bit of a break, you know, from whatever it is that um, your that your angels are saying, like your method of trying to find a mate isn't the wrong method. If you've taken a little break because maybe you cancers have been working pretty hard, I feel over the last few months. I'm very concerned with work things and finances and trying to acquire more. Oh, you see that little angel? Okay, so that's just saying make it more of a priority right now. Okay. It's interesting. Um, we have, I do have the window open in front of where I am. So some of these things, like the very stagnant um, light pieces on the ceiling and on my shirt here from the shade um, in front of me are just light. But there have been a couple little angel orbs here. So um, when you see those fly by, pay extra attention to that message because it's very important for you. That's their way of saying, we're here with you, Cancers. We love you. We're trying to give you um, the best advice possible to speed this up because we want everyone to be in love and to be happy when the timing is right. Okay, so for Cancers who are coupled, what do we have this month? Same thing as singles where you just need to really trust your intuition, not worrying about what other people say. Don't worry if it seems logical or not. Go with your heart. Go with your gut because that's how you're going to end up happy for all things related to your relationship. Um, there is an opportunity here for some truth to come out within the context of your relationship, whether that is your partner opening up about something to to you or you opening up about something to them. Now this could be um, coming clean about something from the past, but I really feel this more about speaking your mind, okay? But this is a really um, beautiful thing to do. So if there were fears about um, talking about what you're thinking, how you're feeling, where you see things going, this is actually um, not something to be afraid of because I do think this is a relationship builder this month. You'll be thankful that it's like a way to strengthen bonds. Your communication is going to be better. Um, it says that it is going to take some time for that sort of an investment in communication and um, you know opening up a dialogue about something that's been on your mind to pay off but that it will, that it shall. 
Um, it says when you start the conversation though with your partner, it, it's a great idea to not get too detail oriented because that might cause them to shut down. You kind of want to talk in broad strokes initially until they are ready to have a more specific conversation with you. Um, you know your partner is what this is saying and you know how much they can take <laughs> and you know what their triggers are, things like that. So that's why it's important to start with broad strokes. Now it's challenging, it says. Um, again, similar theme for singles and couples. Um, it's challenging to get on sort of the same page with your partner about what it is that you both want. I think you want the same things, but you have different ideas of what that looks like. And each person, now I don't have a reason with the cards to believe this, but I am getting this message of like some of you need more or less space. Um, and that's a very challenging conversation to have. So maybe you need them around more, maybe you need them around less. And it's really challenging to explain that to them without them feeling like uh, that you don't love them, that you don't want to spend time with them. Some people don't necessarily need a lot of alone time, right? And so it's really challenging for them to understand it. Um, but maybe the better way to phrase it, if that's you, is to say, if I have this time to myself to gather my thoughts, to get organized, you know, kind of understand what I'm thinking and feeling, then I can be better for you um, when we do come together, sort of a thing. Um, but it's saying that it's challenging at this point in time with your relationship to focus in on um, positive affirmations and what it is that you really desire and want. What else? Um, yeah, some of you are just kind of in a funk where you're not really happy right now. And most, I feel like you had this last month too where it's just that your sleep is screwing it up. If you were just to get more rest, if you were just to sleep more, you wouldn't feel the way that you feel. You wouldn't feel um, kind of bummed out and sad this month. Um, and also, <laughs> some of you are, are thinking too much about the past and not really releasing the past. And if you were to sleep more and release the past, it's not to say forget the past, but we can forgive things and move on, right? We can't change what happened, but we can um, stop feeling negative emotions about the things that happened so that we can move forward. We need to start to recognize um, those sort of things as a memory, but not like a memory with a feeling attached to it. And I know that is so hard to do, but that's going to benefit you hugely within the context of your relationship. Um, it says that right now that's making things um, kind of icky in the relationship. Now, for some of you, this isn't you. For some of you, this is your partner is doing that. And so maybe it's just a message you have to pass along. Like, look, man, we um, had a rocky past. You know, we've both made mistakes. But if we want to be together, we need to learn to forgive each other and um, not forget them. You know, it did happen. We don't need to bring it up every effing day. Because um, this is really causing some like strain. And it's strain for some of you that isn't even talked about. It's just like, um, it's kind of growing into resentment, okay? Um, like a secret seething resentment. So that's a problem. Um, but there is emotional fulfillment to be here. You can feel very emotionally secure within your relationship if you guys are both able to release those things from the past. Um, you're just not confident that you can. Now, how do we build that confidence? Just by deciding. Okay, so this sounds so stupid. It's like a kitten poster. I'm sorry, but it's the message. It's that um, you can just decide to be happy. Believe it or not, you can. Um, it's easier if you start by just expressing gratitude, like when you get in the car to go to work and your car turns on as expected, you're like, thank you for that. Um, thank you, I got up on time. You know, little things like that. It does make you feel lighter and happier. You can decide every time that you have a negative thought. It's not to stuff your feelings, okay? But you can decide to frame it a different way. 
you can say, well, I'm glad that I learned something from this and I won't make that mistake again, you know, and then continue to be positive and praise yourself for the things um, that did go right. The choices that you made that were, you know, really great for you. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, I'm always honored to read cards for you. And you do have a number message. Let me see if I can find this. All of my contact information is below in the description box, and um, so are the links to the Patreon site where you can um, where you get more readings than just the love and the generals during the month, um, lessons on reading tarot, things like that. If you're not interested, that's cool too. Okay, so your number message. Simplify your life by letting go of anything that's extraneous or unnecessary, and you can ask um, God, Allah, spirit guides, angels to help you figure out and identify what that is, but then also ask them to help you delegate more often because you're a little bit stressed. Remember how work came into our love reading again? It's like that constantly comes into the cancer readings recently. Um, I think you're just taking on too much, you know, and not getting enough sleep, so Definitely anything that you can give away to somebody else, let them do that. Take on those tasks. Um, good luck, love and light, and I'll see you tomorrow for the daily readings. Bye.